the story of the Hiltons is a, is a, it's a lesson. Now we can turn it from a tragic lesson to a blessing. It's not every day that you can meet and work with boxers of that caliber. It, it was a model for the kids, for the public. Il y a huit ans, il était déjà évident que les cinq fils Hilton se préparaient à suivre la trace de leur père boxeur. These kids, uh, you know, were an example of when they reach out, you know, to the people to try to help them rather than to, to, to condemn or to ostracize and criticize. They all could have brought such fame, acclaim, and glory, you know, to uh, Montreal or anywhere they would be. During the period from 1980 to 1987, uh, the Hilton family ruled boxing. Uh, the Hilton family was under the control of a man named Frank Catroni. Frank Catroni liked the whole family. He saw them grow up for about 10 years while they were growing up. He helped them a lot. He also helped them uh, a lot financially. He loved boxing and he wanted to be involved in it and he spent a lot of money on it too. The problems began when he wanted to see a return on his investment and that's where everything started. And that's when we intervened. He wanted to sell the Hilton's contract and during the whole time this was taking place, he was in prison. Later we learned they went off one morning and signed with Don King. What hurt me most was to find it out in the papers, like everybody else. While the Hiltons is family, we are family. Davy Hilton uh, Sr. Is, is one of the greatest guys I've ever met. He's a friend of mine, and we're gonna be together for life. When you say the name Hilton, you have said it all. Don King came and got the Hiltons. When he saw 20,000 people at the Forum, he wanted to have that too. He was a nice-looking young man. It's always good to have a white and black fighter in an arena. It makes a bigger attraction. People said Don King was going to make them champions, but the boys wouldn't obey everything he said to the letter, so Don King dropped them. That's it. That's all. One fight, two fights, one brawl, one scandal, and the whole thing was forgotten. It wasn't Mr. King who wasn't ready. When he called Dave Hilton and asked him to be ready for a specific fight, Dave Hilton called him back and said, put it off until next month. He was used to treating other promoters like that because he was a rock star, a big shot. King answered, look, I can't postpone it until next month. The star is Mike Tyson. He's going to fight the main event and you will fight on the same card to show the public who you are. That was the end of Dave Hilton's relationship with Don King. He only had him for those two fights. Davey was very, very talented, but Davey needed help, you know, and, uh, and so uh, he didn't get the help, and so he aberrated from the norm, and he wanted straight consequences of his, of, of his actions. You know, I look at that picture today, I look at it in the gym all the time, and I can't stop myself thinking, it was a multi-million dollar machine, and now we have nothing. They have nothing. <laughs>